Hey, guitarists and worship leaders, I want to make a quick video for a song that I am loving right now. Psalm 150, Praise the Lord, Matt Boswell, Matt Papa. It's a great new hymn. I'm excited to teach it this Thanksgiving, actually. And so I thought I'd make a video um, to share with any of you looking for how do you play the song on acoustic guitar uh, and a little bit lower key. They played in the key of G, which is great, but it, it's a little high for me, a little high maybe for the average congregation. So we're going to be doing it in the key of E or perhaps F, but I'm going to be doing the key of E right now because on acoustic guitar, of course, there are so many great shapes you can play, uh, chord structures and voicings you can play. And so I'm going to play it through uh, the, the way that I like to play it. And then at the end, if you're interested in sticking around to see some of these chord shapes, um, stick around. Maybe it'll be something that's helpful for you. So uh, I'm going to do just the, the first two verses and choruses of Psalm 150, Praise the Lord. With waters, the earth it is your throne. From desert to the sea, all nature testifies your splendor. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Sing His greatness, all creation. Praise the Lord. So let's walk through some of these chord structures here. Uh, during the beginning of the verse, they start with an E major, which you could play down here. And you could just go to an E suspended for the next chord. But they put in the in the chord chart an E4-2, which means you're getting both the 4, the sus, but you're also getting the 2. And so what I like to do is start with an E5 at fret 7 and 9, and then go to, you get the 2 right there on the ninth fret of the A string, and you get... The suspension right there with your pointer on the seventh fret on the D string. So you go from a E5 and then just switch your pointer and your ring finger and then you get your E4-2. Or if you're in the key of F, capo 1, you could of course do the same thing just a fret higher. So bum, and then I like to slide that shape up two frets higher. And that gives you uh, an E major, but it also has the two in it. So that would be actually an E add nine. It's a really pretty chord. Lots of interesting stuff going on in that voicing. So I would do. And you gotta get a G sharp in the bass for that fourth beat if you want to. And I could do a, like a G sharp minor set up here, or you could do a, an E over G sharp shape right there. And you got your A2 or an A add 9 if you want to go flat there and get that second fret on the B string. And you got your B. I'll show you back to your E right there. an E5 
five right there. You could also do an E major. Praise the Lord. F sharp minor. Praise the Lord. F sharp, a blocked A. And then open E and B right there, or B and E. It's a very common shape there. You got your E major. You got your F sharp. It's kind of like an A2, but with an F sharp in the bass. That's how I thought of it when I was a beginner. A2, F sharp in the bass. Make sure you're blocking that A string. That gives you an F sharp minor. Two frets higher gives you a G sharp minor. That's a G sharp minor 7, but really it, it replaces an E over G sharp quite well. So praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sing His praise. Sus, but I really like to go second fret on the high E. It's a bit of a reach, but that's the actual melody note right there. But you could just do a B sus. Another option would be coming up here. Those are pretty chords as well. You get the E, kind of the bar chord shape, but with an open and droning E and B string. A and a B right there, or an A2 and a B sus that has both the four and the three. Then you got your C sharp minor. So many ways to play this, right? You could play it here with kind of the E5 shape down at C sharp and a blocked E, or you could play it with this uh, shape that we learned for the E4 over two, and we slid it up here to the E at nine. You can also slide that down to frets two and four and get a C sharp minor. C sharp minor, and then for the B over D sharp, I like to slide that up right there. So you got praise the Lord, raise your voice. Now we can do one of the E over G sharp shapes. You rise in all you dance from furthest east to west. You can also do this one. Let everything that has breath. There, I'm just going flat right there on the A and the D and the G. So I've got open B and E string and an open low E, and I've got the pinky fourth fret on the G string. A nice back strum sounds really nice right there too. Thing that has breath, praise the E sus. Lush chords you can play.